Real Salt Lake general manager Garth Loggerway discusses depth on the team. Luis Gill. I, I still think he, you know, he can be a big player for us. Um, he, he signed as the youngest player we've, we've, ever, we've ever had. Is that right? Freddie was older than him, right? Freddie do. Um, yeah, youngest player we ever signed, and, and you've got to be patient with young players. I mean, he's still younger than Donnie Toya. I mean, you think that we signed Donnie Toya as a homegrown, you know, teenager. Luis is younger than him. So, uh, you know, we got to be patient with him. we got to put him in game situations where he can succeed and where he can gain confidence. Um, I would tell you Luis has grown leaps and bounds. I mean, he, he literally has grown. He is taller than, than he was, and, and it was growing so rapidly at the end of last year that he got Osgood Slaughter, which is a joint condition where basically your, your bones grow too quickly and it hurts. Um, I'm, I'm sure Dr. Cooper will, uh, will shame me for that, uh, uh, that pathetic medical uh, explanation, but that's, that's, the, that's the layman's version of it. Um, but, you know, Luis is he's still growing his body. He's still becoming a pro. Um, the kid's got a great attitude. He's got tremendous athletic ability. He's got tremendous technical ability. Um, you know, and I think he's a player who really could play a big role for us in the future. Uh, I think we all just need to be patient and, and work him into situations where he can succeed. And, uh, you know, as you've seen in the last two games now, we've, we've got him in the, in the last couple of games. And, um, again, with, with where we are as a team right now, Luis is going to keep getting opportunities, and, and hope he, hopefully he'll, he'll take advantage of them. Colin Warner and Nelson Gonzalez. Um, both Colin and Nelson have played in big games for us. Um, both have done well in big games. Um, both have scored some nice goals. So, uh, you know, Colin right now leads our team in assists. So, you know, stuff like that. You know, we, we, need, we need those guys to, to play well, and, and we also need to see them be productive players now. Um, you know, the thing about being young and talented is uh, it's really positive, it's really hopeful. Uh, but at some point, you gotta you gotta seize the opportunity, and you gotta say, "This is this is my position, and I want to play, and I'm gonna take the responsibility, and I'm gonna score goals, and I'm gonna set them up." Uh, and I think that's the next step forward for a lot of our young guys. Chris Schuler and Rashawn McKenzie. Yeah, I think Sh I think Schuler's been terrific. Uh, you know, Rashawn hasn't had the opportunities that, that Chris has, um, but I you know we need to you know give Nat a rest and give Hamison a rest periodically, and you're gonna see. I would tell you we have total confidence in Chris Schuler and, and in Rashawn. Um, you know, and, and a guy like Rashawn is going to get his opportunities in, in tournaments like the Open Cup and in the Reserve League, and um, and it's done well for us. Uh, you know, even though we haven't seen him with the first team as much, uh, Schuler has been uh, the hardest thing when you're young is to be consistent, and Chris Schuler for me has been very very consistent, um, and that's really what we look for, particularly at that position. And I think Chris has really done a great job. We do have to keep guys fresh. You know, we do look at things like what are the what, are, how many minutes have they played this year versus how many have they played uh, as of June fifth last year, and we're way ahead of that. You know, un, you know, understandably because we played more games. Um, so, in you know, just as we managed the Concacaf workload last fall, we're trying to manage that same workload here now uh, this summer. Yeah, I do. I, I you know, I, I never want to make excuses, and and you know, I, I want to give credit to Dallas because I think they played a, a good playoff series and. Um, I know our guys are very disappointed to lose that, um, but I do think we were we were a little worn down, and I think from the travel as much as from playing games. But uh, for sure, we're going to try to to monitor minutes and and uh, manage through that uh, through the course of this whole season. Um, you know, and I think honestly, with Concacaf coming earlier in the year, it's a little bit easier to manage. Uh, in the sense that, you know, we really were pretty unabashed and just going for Concacaf, and we just kind of played the league games in between with whoever we could. Um, and now in the fall, we'll, we'll, I think we'll wind up being a little bit better rested than Dallas, L.A., Seattle, Colorado. You know, you look at the contenders in the Western Conference, all four of those teams will be playing in CONCACAF. Um, you know, they may have some, some, some of the fatigue issues that I would tell you we're dealing with, you know, for the last month or so. Um, they will be dealing with in September and October, and I think that could be an advantage for us.